Hello and welcome back to Until Dawn. My name is Spooky Dolph. And I'm Pumpkin Doug. <laughs> welcome to our uh, month of October Halloween Spooktacular. If you're not watching this in October, hello and welcome to Until Dawn, I guess. Hi guys. We're playing this game in kind of a competitive version mm -hmm. where uh, Doug and I each control a set number of characters. So there's eight characters in the game and we each control four uh, the goal is to have as more care more of your characters survive till the end than the opponents. Uh, I'm starting off with Matt, Chris, Mike, and Jessica, and Dolph. You have Sam, Josh, Ashley, and Emily. So the uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get Doug's characters killed off as quickly as I can, or at least so enough discourse, or discord, or dis. What am I trying to sow? What? <laughs> Trying to sew a, a sweater because it's cold up here, and I have to right now. I think help Josh get a fire started, or maybe that was Chris. I don't remember. Let's go over here. See what's over here. Sam is one of my favorite characters, just because of the actress who's who plays her. She's she's great. If you guys haven't seen Scream Four. It's uh, obviously worth a... Uh, so how do you pronounce her name again? Sam? No, the actress. I pronounce it Hayden Panettiere, but I don't know if that's exactly I, correct. It might be Hayden Panettiere. Panettiere, I believe is... Yeah, I'm so I'm close. I believe, but I could be wrong. Hayden Christensen. <laughs> <laughs> mm, she's, my, my favorite character She is my screen. favorite actor in all of the Star Wars films, Hayden Christensen. Happy Christmas, and I also 2010. Loved and I also loved Hayden Christensen on Heroes. Look at the nice gift Josh got. Hmm. Wow, that looks expensive as fuck. Yeah, these people have money. <laughs> also, a lot of butterflies in this room. Not gonna lie, a lot of butterflies. Uh, dear Hannah, I would be delighted if you could attend my awesome party at 7 p.m. on July 13th, 2013. Casa de Mike, my house. Gee, Hannah. Hannah had a big old crush on Mike, apparently. I mean, we knew that kind of from the prologue, but. Oh, yeah. The, the, uh, let me go to his room and then start taking my top off because mm -hmm. he just said so. Wait a second. Go back. Oh, it says Joshy. I, was, I, I didn't know what that said. Mm. The little stick drawing. Let's go into the bathroom. Oh, no, this is the bedroom. Or. Er, Clock in closet, technically. Yeah. Ooh, put on them. Oh, there you go. Put on those boots. Like, <laughs> it's good for running out in the winter. M M plus H W. Mostly C's. Uh oh, this is not going to work. He's like a crazy reckless hunk of a man, and you're staying at home working on your embroidery and practicing G minor on the piano. Something about uh up on it. Or do something like really wild. Run away from home or get a tattoo. Oh, she had a tattoo. She had a butterfly tattoo on her arm. Did she? Yeah. I, uh, think she, I think she got that tattoo to try to impress Mike. <clears throat> oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Considering that terrible thing that they did that caused her death, kind of. Mm-hmm. Indirectly. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to go look at the wall for Again. the third time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I gotta check out this lamp. Turn on them lights. Oh, never mind. We don't, see. we don't need lights in this game. Hannah, Josh, and Beth, you are invited to Sam's Halloween party, October 31st. Go figure. Fancy dress. Obligatory. Yeah. And hey, it's that thing we looked at. Oh, shit. It's a spooky, scary scarecrow. It's funny that we chose scarecrow as scary, but yeah, we chose that that was like a peaceful thing. I, honestly, that looks much scarier up close with it, like having like the the angry face. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the one we looked at earlier had that or not. I doubt it. I'm gonna go back and look at old episodes. Yeah. To find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've explored that room to its extent. Let's keep going. That's not the way. Oh, this is a dead end. My goodness, Sam, what are you doing? You've been in this house before. You know where to go. Why are you looking up? Open that good door. A lot of masks on the wall. Oh, 
Uh, there's nothing over here. <laughs> right. Sorry. Join the cheer squad. God, right. Dolph, quit screwing around and just hurry up and start doing stuff. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> I didn't just walk around meandering for a whole episode and. Now I'm gonna walk up this way. <laughs> I should go downstairs and join my friends, but there might be a totem over here. That'd be so funny. There's like I don't think we have we found any indoors yet. Yes, in the basement or in that place that we like oh, entered yeah. the house in. Yeah, we did. Christopher, That's right. I did find one. Oh shit, a door. Oh bummer. Yeah, <laughs> like don't you tell Doug, me what you're was gonna that give that you up. So third time's the charm. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, like the game actually opens the door. Look, all of our friends are having a good time. Let me just watch them. Mmm. That's some good friendship. She's like jerking off. It's like, where did you get the <laughs> penis from? <laughs> I mean, women can jerk off, just not with a penis. Well, it, but the, like the phrase "jerk off" specifically refers to the act of like jerking the yeah, penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like having a good old time with yeah, one's phallus. I, I, the uh, the the female variant, I believe, is you can either say uh, rubbing one out or uh -huh. flicking the bean, right? Or uh, playing with the little man in the boat. <laughs> that is, you know, because like the vagina is kind of like a boat shape, uh, and like the that. little man is at the top of the boat, just sitting there trying to row it. I had not heard that one before. Yeah. Thought she was calling him a douche there for a second. Fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Just call it a fucking Ouija board. I hate when things call things things that they aren't. Like nobody. Nobody in the real world uses the uh, non-branded version of it and calls it a spirit board. Everyone just calls it a Ouija board. Mm -hmm. um, like, Doug and I play this uh, board game called Betrayal at House on the Hill, which, if you haven't played it, very, very good game to play during Halloween. That is a really choice game right there. It's my favorite game. It's very, very good. Um, but in that game, in the expansion, uh, maybe it was... Yeah, no, was I think it's in the original. The spirit board, I remember being a card in the original yeah. base game. And there's a spirit board, and it's called the spirit board, and it's always bothered me. Shit, I'd get turned on now. <laughs> Try. Fucking. Can I hold this forever? Yeah. I can, it's, <laughs> I can hold it forever. Thanks for watching. Next time. <laughs> I thought yeah, you turned the generator on. I, we turned the generator on for the outside. I don't think we. I don't think any power is coming to the inside of the house yet. Mm. We have to go do that probably now, I would think. I know we're going to turn on the boiler so that I can take a bath. Sam's really into That's a good chance a for me to right try now. to make my move on Ashley. Yeah. Or for you to screw it up, my attempts to bang Ashley with Chris by <laughs> not making a move when you control Ashley. Whoever controls. Yeah. No, my goal is to get Chris killed as Ashley. <laughs> like have Ashley specifically kill Chris. <laughs> um. Let's. How much of a bitch you want to be? Smock. And I just wish Chris would go for it. He's so paralyzed, thinking she's gonna shoot him down. It's not gonna happen. Which thing? Well, neither. Knowing <laughs> Chris, he won't unless someone's holding a gun to his. Head. Oh shit! We need to get a gun. <laughs> the new quest objective: find gun. Bye, Josh. I'm exploring the house. And I'm back. <laughs> Did that spook you? Was that a jump scare? Does that qualify? I have not seen our friend jump scare yet. Yeah. He's uh he's been busy making his most recent horror film. <laughs> I just wanted to say what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know. I think I want to try I mean, I would love to see Sam and Josh get together. Mm -hmm. So let's Josh, be nice. We're I'm just kind of surprised there isn't like any like love interest activity for Sam as a character. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to try to get her with uh, with Josh. Mm -hmm. You know? You're saying that like none of the intro cards said like Sam super digs on. Well, just so like everybody else, there's like all this like intermingling. Yeah. Pretty much everybody has commented on somebody else in a romantic way in some way. Even mm -hmm. even Josh jokingly talking about, maybe not even jokingly talking about banging Ashley. Yeah. To like get a rise out of Chris. But everybody mm -hmm. else is like. We either know from <laughs> inside Can info. I get that broom? 
Let me no. get that. Let me get that, bro. I don't want to be attacked if there's a psycho killer in here. Keska say. <laughs> fa 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 fa. Run 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 run. Run run away. Yeah. You know. Spook down here. Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. No. Don't 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 say things like, ooh, a baseball bat. Grab the fucking bat and beat Josh with it. Maybe then he'll like us. Um Oh shit. Sorry. Is is it yours or baseball in the snow? I don't I don't get that. You're just commenting on the bat, and you need me to say something. So you're just like, hey, does this belong to you? Is this your bat, or would you go outside and play some baseball, which is a ridiculous thing to say. Pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer, and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad. Damn it. I made him think about his sister. dead sisters. I'll never get into his pants now. There on the big lawn. Hmm. I don't know. Nope. New reality. Sam. Fuck. Anyway. <laughs> I feel like that the butterfly effect right. was bad. Probably. You probably just got all your characters killed in that one fell swoop. <laughs> just the one fell swoop. They're all going to be murdered by a baseball bat. Yep. A talking by baseball Josh, bat. By Josh, oddly enough. And he's going to take his own life, just crack himself in the head. A talking baseball bat that talks like, <laughs> oh, guys, I'm a talking baseball bat. I'm a key, y'all. <laughs> The worst voice a baseball <laughs> bat could possibly have. Bury the baseball bat. Bury the homicidal baseball bat. Oh shit! Damn it! Can you just keep the light so I can see? Fucking don't game. move stuff. Garbage. I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't touch him. Breathe. <sighs> just <sighs> breathe. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Just lay it on your lap. Yeah, see if see if that, that works. Banging on the right. Don't do that. I won't move. Gotta hold my breath. That's really sensitive, isn't it? Yeah, it's good stuff. I'm almost done. Come on. Nice. Whoo! Jesus, that thank, was annoying. Thank Christ. Wasn't I hope that I, I bet that mechanic will never come up again in a tense, scary situation. <laughs> Oh, it's a two-step verification process. Mm-hmm. Perfect. That's more like Hell yeah. All right. Bye, girl. Ooh, you almost yeah. missed it. Yeah. That was a lot faster than any quick time event you've had to do in this game. Yeah. They, oh, they wanted me to miss that high five yeah. so badly. They really did. Oh shit. Oh god, do you see how fucking serious Jazz just got? <laughs> oh my god. Josh, you're so creepy and unlikable. <sighs> and you even have a terrible catchphrase. Are you trying to play the protagonist of American Psycho? Like where there's like nothing behind those Ooh, eyes? Ooh, I'm gonna prank the shit out of him. I do this <laughs> I do this to Lacey all the time. We're like we'll be looking at each other and I'll just kind of like my eyes will drift off behind her. Mm -hmm. And Josh. she'll be like, What, what? And then she'll turn around and I'll be like, nothing, there's nothing there. I was just looking. It's very funny. It's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, Sam, killer. Good prank, ten out of nice ten. Nice finger guns, I it's approve. Just, it's just a prank, bro. Oh. Oh, they were making a tennis reference. Okay, I, I get you. Game, these are rich kids. <laughs> now Josh is trying to do it to us. What? I mean, you could hear it. Uh, should I be concerned or heroic? Find out next time. 
I'm gonna be heroic. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Why? <laughs> what do you care, pretty face? No, it's probably just like not anything. Uh, why don't you hold down the floor while I make? Yeah. It? Whatever you, you bad say. bitch. Doug, I'm investigating. By yourself? Yeah, I'm That's being <laughs> I'm being heroic. <laughs> Fucking stab this maniac. That's somebody messing with you, I think, right? Yeah, it has to be. That doesn't look like the guy that's been around in the other ones. No. No! Come on! Why are these doors locked? <laughs> to keep out strangers! <laughs> hey. What? Hey. What the hell? Ooh. You just got mucked. <laughs> oh shit. What? Damn it, Chris, you're the worst. That was good. Wait, but why would you do that? Obviously, cuz like it's a it's a common thing in a horror movie where characters try to scare each other in order to ease the tension so that when the real horror starts, everyone's lighthearted about it. No one mm -hmm. no one takes it seriously. Also, I feel like I've seen a lot of horror movies where that kind of thing usually is turned around by him getting impaled from behind immediately. Right. So I'm surprised Chris this is still standing. This subverts that very cleverly, if you haven't noticed. By now, Chris is a monk. <laughs> he's been monked. Instead, he's a paladin now. <laughs> he's got the heels. I was not. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. I mean, I didn't. So you you're no longer flirting with Ashley and hanging out with her. Name are you wearing? Chris isn't. Yeah. I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. Not a vow of celibacy, though. Okay. Okay. Did you at least find the thingy? Boom! Oh. Fucking spirit board. Generic, unlicensed spirit board. That he somehow was keeping under his robe? Yup. Without a protruding or creating bulbous emissions? I mean, you saw the same footage I did. And now we get to go take a bath. I was like, do we get to watch you in a disrobe too? Probs. Oh shit. Back with Dr. Hill. Ooh. Duh, there's gore everywhere. And the fucking curtains have gone to shit. This place is... You're not keeping up with your office very much, Dr. Hill. Are you even paying any rent in this place? Like, this is bad. Tell me about John Wick. <laughs> I would like to understand your feelings. Okay. Sure. Let's talk. Let's shoot the shit. Do you share this fear? Um. Ooh, there's a spider on the desk. Do we share this fear or do we not? Doug? Thoughts? What's the fear? The fear of failure and what people think of them? Yeah. We do not, I don't think. I, I know I don't. I would say that's probably accurate. No, we're, we can't fail. We are the protagonists. We, we, don't, we don't fear failure. No. We have a YouTube channel to do here. Failure is... Great for page of you. <laughs> um, do we despise failure or feel sympathy for people who fail? Um, I, I personally feel sympathy. Mm, okay. I see. Well, Chris has a fear of failure. Do you feel pity for him? Ooh, oh, obviously. Oh, yeah, all yeah, of the pity. So much pity. So much. P Chris is such a pussy. <laughs> <gasps> How dare you call out the way that I've been playing and the way that Doug has been playing. Do you think the person in the chair is like us? The... Yeah, I think it's supposed to be us playing, like, actually us at home. Hmm. And that's why they specifically show that they, like, gloved hands and stuff like that. And, like, I'm wearing a hat right now, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. And they always have gloves on. Yeah. Always. That's well, it's because you're a huge germaphobe. Mm. Well, you're a... a Noxiously close to my face. <laughs> it must be nice to be able to sit down consciously aware that a chair will always be under your butt. Um, I, I super value honesty. Yeah, Loyal, loyalty is like... I don't want blind loyalty. Right, that's the thing. is like too much loyalty and you end up like dictators and you know yeah. cult leaders and stuff like that so i feel yeah. like honesty is definitely the way so to go you would tell the truth even if it resulted in an i do it outcome. all the goddamn time constantly yeah i hate <laughs> i hate this fucker for so it. much so <laughs> that it's potentially ruining friendships as we speak uh i value honesty or charity 
See, I'm still leaning more towards honesty again. Like, charity's nice. I wish I could be more charitable. It's hard. Um, if it was, if the, the thing is, charity is so close to empathy, and if it was empathy, I'd say empathy, but mm -hmm. with this is charity, yeah, uh, I'd have to probably still go with honesty. I agree with you on that. Cool. Charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need. Eh? <laughs> exactly. If you're not true to yourself, you're not going to be able to help people. Right, exactly. I'm afraid we're out of time. Damn it. We'll talk again soon. Of course we will. Every couple of... Every, like, 30 to 40 minutes, it seems. Well, thank you for joining us on another exciting episode of Until Dawn. Yeah. Can't uh, wait to find out what happens to all of our characters. Nobody's died yet. This is disappointing. <laughs> Stay tuned to next episode where we continue the story and see if we get anybody killed Today as quickly as possible. Um, if you have any ideas for games for us to play in this glorious spooky month, let us know in the comments below and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. That would help me out a lot to make me, you know, feel good about myself having that good, good subscriber count. We'll see you guys later. Bye.